Welcome to the Fantasy Zone, IGN. I am Jose Otero, and I'm here with... Oh, uh, is this where I say my name? Hi, I'm Mitch Dyer. That's I thought right. you were going to go with that. No, sorry. And we're going to play good. Uh, <coughs> 3D Space Harrier, which you can find on the Nintendo eShop. Yes. Uh, just in time for Thanksgiving. It was actually released, you know, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. But we're just going to give you some context, talk about it a little bit. This is a really important game in history. Okay. And we have to kind of point that out up front. Uh, Space Harrier came out in 1985. It That's was designed older than me. Yeah, it was designed by the legendary Yu Suzuki. No kidding. Yeah, I wish we talked Mr. about Shenmue. him more. Yeah, Mr. Shenmue. And in fact, it also had a cameo appearance in Shenmue. Huh. And this game has been ported to everything. Jose, Almost I, every console. <laughs> I can't help but notice that you are neither a Harrier nor in space. No, and not only that. So the character, I mean, we're not going to make fun of this too much, but it is kind of funny that the character, the main character, the Harrier, a blonde uh, gentleman in blue jeans who just tripped on a bush, uh, he has these powers to fly uh, in this shmup, basically. Yeah. Um, but it's never really explained. But then again, this, again, is a product of 1985 where you really have to explain or give a lot of things context. Um, but it is really fun uh, to sort of look at back on and reminisce and be like, well, we never really got an explanation for why that worked the way it did. Right. Um, yeah, but more importantly, this was a shmup in the arcades that did something that other shoot 'em ups weren't. I mean, a few games experimented with this idea, but most shmups did either the top, top view, down, right, yeah. or vertical, vertical or horizontal, but it was always top down. And this game, this is put like the camera Star behind Fox, you, ten yeah. years before Star Fox. Exactly, put the camera behind you. It had some really cool uh, effects, and and you know, it was just very ahead of its time. Even yeah. the voice, the fact that they're right. machine that voice. Right. Welcome to the fantasy zone, <laughs> and you're doing great. The animation's really good too, right? Like the this dragon looks like it's in 3D, it's turning around, it has all these different pieces that make it, it's really convincing. Yeah, and in the uh, 3DS port, when you put up the slider, this all looks really good. Okay. Like, I have to point out. Does like, it make the it IGN logo on the back of his gun pop? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Wow. Look at I it. Stop never get in the air and stop moving a little bit. Yeah. It totally it, looks like yeah, the IGN just logo. Fly straight for one second, Brendan. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. discoveries <laughs> being made. Very cool. All right, so the uh, the theme was composed by Hiroshi Kawaguchi, also super snappy, memorable. It's one of those short, like, 80s loops that you just hear in some video games, and you're like, hey, this is really good. Uh, what else can we talk about really quick? The 3DS port yep. uh, not only has the ability to show 3D, but it has uh, options to invert the controls and do other little funky things. It's really well emulated and really well done. Uh, that has to be pointed out overall. Um, but yeah, it's really funny that this game was ported to almost everything. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the Master System, the Game Boy Advance, the ZX Spectrum, even the family computer in Japan had a port of a Space Harrier. Granted, it didn't run that well, sure. but it was still <laughs> very cool um, that they tried that. So it's what six bucks? Yep, five ninety nine on the eShop. All right, it looks amazing. I miss stuff like this. Me too. Wild and crazy and really cool. This game to me was what it felt like to get fired out of a cannon. You're always just moving <laughs> right, forward. Right. He's yeah. like launched and just like in the air the whole time. It's great. Yep. All right. Well, then uh, Fantasy Zone and True Believers for more Space Harrier and Nintendo 3DS content, including uh, coverage of the Sega 3D classics that just went up on the eShop. Keep it right here at IGN.